New at four, thousands of Metro Atlantans are finding out they are no longer eligible for food stamps. The change affects Cobb, Gwinnett, and Hall counties. Channel 2's Sophia Choi is live in Cobb County. And Sophia, this involves able bodied adults who are now required to go to work. That's right, Craig. Able bodied adults who have no dependents. Now, this is where people can come to enroll in the food stamps program with the Department of Child uh, Family and Children's Services in Cobb County. And about 3,000 Cobb County residents who get those benefits are now under new requirements. We met Kira Thomas applying for food stamps at the Cobb County DFAX office. She's got a child, but says those who don't have dependents still need help. I mean, not everybody can work and it's not that easy to find a job nowadays. About 6,000 food stamp recipients in Metro Atlanta are now required to find work or get into a job training program after getting the benefit for three months. Those affected are adults who have no dependents at home. They are not incapacitated in any way or they, you know, they don't have a mental or physical disability that's documented and or could be observable. But the Legal Aid Society says that group may include those who are still unemployable. For veterans, who may be partially disabled due to PTSD, um, they would not be exempt. So far, three counties in the metro Atlanta area are affected, Cobb, Gwinnett, and Hall. But DFAC says more counties will join them as federal exemptions to the requirements expire now that unemployment is below 10% for each affected county. Legal aid worries some of them will go hungry while looking for work. It can be a job-seeking um, activity for a period of time. These are not the welfare queens that people sometimes talk about. These are very real people who may be looking for work, are trying to find work, they're struggling to find work. They're just not succeeding. DFAC sent out five letters to each person affected. If they did not respond, their benefits will be cut off. We're live in Cobb County. Sophia Choi, Channel 2 Action News.